extreme, isn't it? I can see that things are not well at her back end. She has a massive prolapse. I'm in a really tricky situation right now because Bonnie is in major distress. And how can I reduce that? Well, the best way is by neutering the animal. But you have blood vessels that are about five times the size as they would normally be. So that means five times the risk of bleeding and death. Scott's first patient is a young pocket American bully who's come in with her very anxious dad. It's okay, darling. Me and Bonnie are so close. We do everything together. She's always with me. I've had her since she was 14 weeks, so since she was very young. She's just come on a first heat, and I'm just worried I could see something exterior starting to come out. That's when I started to panic. It's okay, darling. Good girl. Hi there, Nathan. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Pop. How are you? So what's happening? I'm worried she's having a... It's like it's Ooh. bulging out the back there. And yes. Last night when that started to expose itself, I... Yes, started really to get started. worried. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. Let's get her in the consult room, mate. Great. Come on, darling. Good girl. Can we get her up on the table? Yep. Let's have a little look at you, my love. You are a lump, aren't you, Bonnie? Are you a lovely girl? Okay. So, she's still quite young. Yes. And she's just had a first season. Do you think she's in heat now? She's definitely in heat okay, now. Fine. How do you know? Um, she started spotting blood. Right, okay, no problem. Let's just have a little look at this. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Extreme, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, oh my gosh, baby girl. I can see that things are not well at her back end. She has a massive prolapse of her vagina out of her vulva, basically this big lump coming right out of that back area and it really looks painful. When they are entire um, and they go through the cycle, they get that real surge of estrogen yeah. and then pop, out it comes. Yeah. Um, so what happens is once it's out like that, it's prone not only to be damaged but also strangulated because it's actually going out of a hole that it's not meant to. Yeah, it's very concerning. I was so worried. I'm like, that's not right. I've no, got to... No, no. So you've done really well to bring her in in time. Great, yeah. What we need to do is try and replace it. So we'll do that by reducing its size um, and then pushing it back in. And at the same time, I'm going to have to either look at hormonal treatment to try and reduce the estrogen levels yeah. just so that things start to reduce in size or we might have to spay her. I'm in a really tricky situation right now because Bonnie is in major distress. The main driver of this condition is high levels of estrogen. And how can I reduce that? Well, the best way is by neutering the animal. But when you try to spay a female dog when they're in season, you have blood vessels that are about five times the size as they would normally be. So that means five times the risk of bleeding and death. Okay, baby. I know. I know, I know. There'll be more than a thermometer going up your back end quite soon, I'm afraid. Sorry, it's honey. It's okay. it's okay, darling. Hey, Nathan. Yeah? I think it's love. <laughs> Definitely is. Being a vet isn't just about treating animals, it's also being aware of the people holding the lead or carrying in the cat carrier. And in the case of Nathan and Bonnie, you can see how clearly they have an amazingly strong bond and connection. It's beautiful, really. She is a very healthy girl, so you're doing a great job with her. This is just a really unfortunate event, Poor so girl. we just need to address that. Yeah. Hey? Yes. All right, well, do you want to give Daddy a kiss? Hey. Do you want to give Daddy a kiss? Hey. Yes. She's probably oh. not going to come with me. Come on then, Bonnie. Come this way, baby. Yo, you're, you're so good. All right, Nathan, I'll give you a call in a bit. Great, right. thank you. Good girl, good that's girl. it, good girl. Oh, I'm feeling scared and nervous. I'm just praying that she's gonna be okay. So, my last visit up here wasn't too well. I had to have my last dog put down here, so. Hey, Taylor, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good, so this is Bonnie. Okay. Let me pop her up on the table for you. Oh, she's a bit of a lump, as you can see. <laughs> I think what we'll do is we'll give her some pain relief. Yep. Put her on some fluids. Uh, and then we'll get her into surgery and we'll go from there. Sounds good. Okay. 
good kill. It's all right, my love. He's hoping he can successfully manipulate it back inside Bonnie's body without having to anaesthetise her. We're just flushing the vaginal prolapse just to try and encourage it to go back in. So basically use a liquid that uh, has a higher concentration than the fluid within it and that will then shrink it a little bit. So we're doing that now. She is breathing up quite a bit. We've given her some pain relief but being a brachycephalic or flat faced dog, they do struggle to breathe at the best of times so she's getting a bit of oxygen as well. Okay, sweetie. Okay. 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 Right, so I'm just going to try and see how far I can replace it manually. All right, babe. Nice, no, sweetie. Oh, it's all right. I've seen my wife give birth to four kids. It does get worse than this. I'm afraid, but it does. This is nothing. This is nothing. This prolapsed vagina is kind of like an inverted tube, and I need to push that tube back in to where it needs to be. But the force that I need to apply is fairly significant because as it's been outside of Bonnie's body, it has swollen. So now I need to push it back and it doesn't really want to go back. So the good news is that it's not uh, desiccated or dried out and she's not been chewing at it either. So, yeah. so that's all good news. But unfortunately I can't get it back in with her awake. So we are going to have to give her an anesthetic. Yeah. yeah. As the nurses are preparing Bonnie, I then scrub up, put my scrubs on and I'm ready for action. All right, so we're going to give you some anaesthetic now, baby. All right, and we'll try and sort out your back end. All right, don't look. All right, good girl. Right, okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. Good girl. Now I've got Bonnie in the surgery suite, I have a really good opportunity to observe this structure. It's pretty angry, it's very large, it's very engorged with blood, and it's going to be really tricky to get it back where it needs to be. Oh, go on. It's going, oh, the table's it's moving. moving. <laughs> it's there. That's why we couldn't do it while she's awake, it's because the amount of force I'm having to apply is fairly significant. You kind of expect this level of force applied when you're doing it to a cow, not to a dog, but hey. I can imagine watching a moment like this behind the scenes of a vet practice or a doctor's where you go, wow, there's a lot of force being applied there. But actually, we need to do exactly that to get the job done. Okay. Right. So, it's pretty much replaced now. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So now, now we've got it in. I've got to keep it in with a stay suture. So, we're going to just do like a purse string. Now I've managed to replace the prolapse, it is desperately still trying to come out. So the way I can keep it in place is by performing a purse string suture. If you think of a drawstring bag or a sleeping bag, you basically have something around the outside and when you pull it, it tightens it together. So what I'm doing is that same kind of technique on Bonnie to avoid the structures coming back out again. Okay, I'm, I'm happy, I've, I've finished. Everything that should be inside is now inside, so she can wake up. On balance, I feel the right thing is to try and live through the next seven days whilst she's in season. And hopefully after that point, the estrogen levels will drop and everything will calm down. But to try and perform a spay, a neutering on her right now is just too risky. I know. Oh, poor girl. Three hours later, it's time for Bonnie to be reunited with Dad Nathan. Hi there. Oh, pony. Hello, Tarman. <laughs> oh, there's your daddy. <laughs> well, the tail's going. So she's done really well. Yeah. Um, you can see the back end's looking a bit neater now. Yeah. There's the yeah. suture to hold everything in. Yeah. Um, you are alright? Yeah. Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah. She means a lot to you, doesn't oh, she? Oh, everything. Yeah. She's a lovely dog. Yeah. Today was quite stressful. Just waiting on the call, just, I just wanted to know she was safe and take her home to be happy and move on. It's, I know it's quite frightening when you see something like that. It looks like she was just trying to shocked. give birth yeah. to an alien, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Didn't know what was going on. Yeah. So, yeah. And I, I, I understand the last time you were here wasn't such great circumstances. No, no. It's, it's sort of triggering a bit as well, so. Yeah, of course. I understand. She's so Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. 
Well, it's lovely to see how much she loves you. Yeah. And it's lovely to see how yeah, much you love her. we've got a great bond. Definitely got a great bond, so. Good, good man. There we go, baby. Oh, good girl. She's been such a lovely girl. Look at that tail wagging. Goodness me. Bringing Bonnie out to the waiting room and reuniting out with Nathan. It's a beautiful thing. You know, you see a uh, tear in his eye. He loves this dog. And to be able to help treat the dog and get her back into his loving arms, it's, it's a special thing to be a vet. Given eight weeks from now, you should get a spade. Yeah, 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 yeah it's best know. for her health. Yeah, thank you so much. It's been well, so great. Oh, no worries. Have a nice evening with her. Yeah. Um, and I'm glad that this time it's thank been a happy so ending. It has been. It's happy, happy tears. <laughs> <laughs> Good. The future's bright for us, so yeah. Sadly, no babies for her, but yeah, the future's bright. <laughs> all right. Okay. Thank you so all much. All the best, all the best. Thank Take so care. Much. Come on, good girl. It's been such a busy day here at the shelter. So hectic, loads of patients coming in, but it's wonderful, you know, to be able to treat all these animals and to give them the care that they need and to look after their owners in the meantime. It's, it's been a wonderful day and I'm really glad that I gave up my day off on the beach. If you guys loved that video, great. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. That way. That way. <laughs>